I can't believe I bought those two lenses last night. <laughs> you bought two lenses last night? Yeah. What two lenses did you get? You know what? My logic is so stupid. Because what like, is it? Is it stupid? It's pretty fucking dumb. So my brother, you know, because he, he's working now, like he, out of nowhere, blindsided me. He goes, you know what? He goes, hey, what do you want for Christmas? I was like, do you want an Apple Watch? I was like, yeah, I didn't want one, but I said, I thought about it, and it's not really a timepiece, so it's going to be obsolete in the next couple of years. How much is an Apple Watch? Like, I think the cheapest one was like 400 bucks. I was like, oh, thanks. I was like, it's like, dude, just, if you're going to give me that, just give me the money. I thought it was all kind of joking. Yeah. And they sent me 300 bucks. Into what? Like, oh, dude, that's dope, man. I really appreciate he it. He loves you. And then from that, it was like, well, $300, I wasn't expecting that. So that's technically like a 20% discount if I buy glasses. <laughs> and so from then on, all the way from 2 a.m. to about 6 a.m., I, I had it in my car back and forth, taking it in, out, yeah. in, out, in, out, in, out. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm out. You got a virus. Oh. <laughs> 2000 3000 What the fuck? Which lenses did you buy? I got the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not 3000 It's like 2500 I got That's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got the uh, 24 mil uh, 1.8 for my... Uh, for my A7S and A7R2. What brand is the lens? Uh, Sony Zeiss. Oh, shit. Sure. And then I also got the 35mm 1.4. Oh, damn, 1.4? Yeah. The 35mm is actually one of my favorite focal lengths. Yeah. And the reason why I didn't get that 35, I already have a 35, but it's a manual one. So it's not going to be great for photos on the go. So, uh, in Japan, I really missed having the 35, but because I didn't bring it. And they mm. also have another 35, which is a 2.8, but it doesn't have that shallow depth of field I like. But the 35 is such a good distance because it's not so, uh, it's not such a telephoto lens where you need to be far from the subject, but it's good enough where it's short, where you can be close to the subject, but it'll have a good enough bokeh because the the, the, the focal length is great. So I, I missed that in Japan and I and I really wanted to get it, so I got it anyways. What exactly is a bokeh? I just know it's that blurry shit. So, yeah, it's that bokeh. It's that bokeh is basically the blurred background that you get from a lot of your subjects. So people like that look and feel. That's what, honestly, when you see movies, it kind of gives that great cinematic feel. Because and, it's blurry in the back. Yeah. And also, too, you'll see that it had shots because it, it makes you focus on the subject that you want. You know? Yeah. So unless you're really going to like shoot like scenery or you want everybody to see everything, you're not going to have a high f-stop. So you want that bokeh. It kind of really draws your eyes toward what you want to see. Mmm. What do you think about David's spending habits? He just spent twenty five hundred on some new lenses. I don't understand him, cause watch, he's gonna, he's he's happy about talking about it right now, and then like a day or two later, he's like, I shouldn't have bought that shit. But that's how I am with everything. Like when I buy food, when I buy clothes, when I buy shoes, everything's a guilt for me. I never buy things for myself, which is why I look so decrepit all the time. <laughs> it's true. And I'm a girl. Gio always buys things for herself, though. I do? Yeah, all the time. What were the last things I bought outside of Japan? All the the whole box of stuff you had. My dad's presents? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. Fucking selfish. Selfish as fuck. <laughs> Fine. I'm just kidding. I always try to make you look bad, but I can't. No, you're, you do a really Because you're an angel. Job. No, you're an angel. Oh, thank you. Ooh, so are you, angel. baby. Oh, I'm thank it. you. Hey, Tiff. We talked about this article. Mm -hmm. Like this kid. Try to burn down a mosque. Yes. And he's 23. And then uh, a lot of parents would have like, tried to help him out, get him a lawyer or something, and uh, kind of uh, get him free of the charges. Let's say Isaac grew up to be a crazy motherfucker and he did some heinous crime. And all the evidence, it's like for sure it was him. And he had bad intentions. Would you be like, yep, you did it. You deserve it. Or would you be like, no, he's my son. I'm, I got to bring him home and I'll, and I'll deal with him then. Like what, what type of parent you think it would be? I would most likely be the, uh, nope, you did it. You got to face your, the consequences. I'm not going to be your mom. I'm not going to save you because you're old enough to know what you, what you did and what you did was wrong. So no, I wouldn't save him. What if he was like, like 10? And like, let's say he uh, stole one of his teacher's stuff and you found out, would you take him to school and then make him confess to the teacher? Yeah, I would. I would make him confess. I wouldn't hide it and then try to deal with it on my own because I feel like him learning would, like he would learn best by facing the consequences. But so what if he was like, so fuck, mom, I thought you got my back. You're going to backstab me like this? No, because I would explain to him that this isn't a backstab, and I'm, I'm actually helping you because I'm trying to teach you that your actions have consequences. That's what I would do. 
Parenting is hard, huh? It's fucking hard. <laughs> it's so hard. The older he gets, the harder it gets, too. So I know. Hard. I just imagine, because then, like, the more that I watch you and Isaac, the more I think about how I was a kid. And I'm like, damn, like, if, I'm, if I was five and I was already causing all kinds of drama, and Isaac's actually a pretty fucking good kid compared to the type of kid that I was, and I wasn't even a evil kid. I just was very curious, which led to mischief, which led to heartache on my mom's end. I'm like, damn, when I have a kid, it's just going to be so much easier just to beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> Well, it would be easier, but that's that's not the, the way to go. I mean, you know from experience. Wouldn't, don't you wish your mom would have, like, explained to you and, like, tried to handle your curiosity in a different way rather than just beating you? Yeah, but now that I'm older, I know she's not smart enough to. So <laughs> she did her best. She couldn't explain shit. So she just beat my ass, which didn't really help it. But at least, I guess, what I am appreciative is since she did beat my ass, I wasn't spoiled. Mm. Because then there are parents that are like, fuck, I don't know what to do. I can't explain it. Ah, just let them have their way. Mm. And then you, they turn up to be a bigger bitch later on. Well, I mean, I'm experiencing that. I try to explain and I try to, uh, to have, like, you know, my way of disciplining because I don't want to beat my son. So What if you kick him in that, the nuts? I'm not going to do that. I want grandkids one day. So even that, though, it's still, I feel like I'm still raising a spoiled kid because he's still well first of all he's an only child so it's even harder because he doesn't understand that the world doesn't revolve around him but it's just even if you if you don't spoil your kid by giving him everything he wants somehow i'm still ending up in just that, spoiling that him position it's i like, think it's just a mother's love it's fucking hard when you have the mother's love you just love your kids because i try to discipline <laughs> our puppies and geo no matter what got their back and make me seem like the bad guy and I'm always fucked. What are you talking about? Like the, the pups will do something mischievous. Like what? Give me an example and then how I back them up. Right and now. I'll be like, what the fuck you doing me, over there, Fawn? Give me an example. And I'm like, Fawn, go to timeout. Perfect. I'm like, yeah, she deserves it. And then you'll be like, fuck you, Papa Bear. Go fucking eat a pile of shit. Fawn, we're going to Disneyland. That sounds about right. <laughs> that really sounds about right. <laughs> So cute! I picked her right. in Disneyland with her mouse ears. Mm. It's so cute. Gotta roll again. Uno. Punish my kids, dude. I know it's gonna be the best thing. It's so fun to punish people. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right wing doesn't look right in the back of the head. Rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. 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 That's that Limp Biscuit song. Yep. I used to love Limp Biscuit. That shows how dumb I was. <laughs> <laughs> And then lunch break? Yep. Yes, I'm so hungry. And can someone give a loud clap? Because that's how we sync the cameras. Boom. And then we set the timer. Boom. 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 Let's rock and roll, baby. Lunch time, Ma Bear. What did you order? Carne ranchera. Basically, carne asada. And basically, skirt steak. And basically, it's bomb. Basically. Then why is there Italian music playing in this restaurant? This is Mexican. Yeah, this is Spanish. This is? Yeah. This is Mexican. Before this, they were playing um, chicken, like this Parisian type of music. This is Mexican. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the song. Where's the accordion at? It's the bolero. It's before the Mexican music like you know. Like, Can anyone order a tamale? Oh, They're so good. You gotta pay attention. Thank you. Just pay attention to this. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, school me again because I didn't pay attention then. I said this isn't uh. Yeah, I'm like, wait, let me figure this out. So I was saying that this is boleros. It's a different kind of like, uh, sausage. Nice and warm. Did you wear it yesterday? Huh? Bolero sausage? <laughs> You guys were like off late last night. What's that? I have to bring. Um. Okay. I have to bring the food that my mom made uh, last night for my dad's birthday so that everyone could try it. It's ceviche. Um, fish. Oh, ceviche de pescado. Uh, he made fried rice, but Japanese style fried rice or Japanese Hawaiian style fried rice, and then he made bacon wrapped shrimp. That sounds yummy. You know what's crazy is that your dad's Mexican, but he knows how to make all kinds of non-Mexican food. 
Like what? Like the Japanese style fried rice you just named. That's all he knows. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not crazy because we had a very close friend that like we took into our lives as like a family member. Yeah. And she's Japanese Hawaiian, so that's where. Because my mom doesn't randomly know how to make taquitos. <laughs> well, mine doesn't randomly either. Yeah, he randomly knows how to make Japanese no, rice. No, random. It's, I just told you how he like, heard Damn it! You're listening. You don't listen. You don't anything. My grandma makes guacamole. She but does it taste it. like this one? Not the same, but she learned it from her Mexican friends at the adult center. Oh, cute. So they just jumped into their neighbor's yard and stole the avocados and made it? Yeah. <laughs> what is what? Why? Because I heard you. Fine. And everyone here? Fine. No, my grandma. Ooh, tostadas. It's tostadas. Exactly. So, See? Yeah, That's See? Yeah. You're a racist. You're, You're a racist. Because he said, so he learned from the Mexicans. You're a racist. No, she jumped in the backyard. Yeah. No, she, yeah. I know she you jumped in the backyard too. She's always expecting something from the Mexicans. She didn't learn how to steal from the Mexicans. That's what I'm saying, but that's what he's saying. Like, he, she learned right? how to no, that's steal. what you made up. Yeah, he's Steve. Saying that. <laughs> no, you made it up. No, you made it up, yep. Why are you against me? No, I'm speaking the two. Let's rewind the vlog. <laughs> and press play. Mexicans steal everything. All right. <laughs> you see? I was right. Oh, that looks good. What is that? Enchilada? Shrimp enchilada. Shrimp enchilada? That's weird. <laughs> Never tried that. What did you get? Enchiladas too? Yeah, I got chicken. Enchiladas are delicious. They're like Mexican oh lasagnas. Yeah. Isn't it tamal? What's up you guys, we meet again, and we are in the JK prop room, and uh, I'm here, yes, because I'm freaking tired, and I'm going to take a nap, and I even got my little blankie, and uh, man, these days, it's, uh, we just came back from Japan about a week ago, but, and I thought I got over the jet lag um, within the first two days, like the first day I landed, I worked out, because that gives me like an adrenaline rush, and so it helps keep me awake even better than coffee, and I drink coffee, so I didn't even sleep. Uh, like where everyone else in JK knocked out right when they got home because they're so tired I knocked out around 9 or 10 so I was able to wake up at 5 and slowly adjust and uh, I think I beat jet lag everyone at JK still jet lag by the way but it got really cold so Gio turned on the heater and uh, that thing's been waking me up at like 2, 3 a.m. in the morning and then 4 a.m. in the morning and it keeps waking me up so now my, my sleep is still fucked up and JK needs when we film we film from 10 a.m. up until like 9 p.m. and we shoot 40 articles in a day. So you know that energy? Like we got to keep it up 40 times, which is why sleep is, is so important. I realize that sleep is actually more important uh, to my performance more than coffee. You know, like coffee is this artificial like, uh, uh, like a pick-me-upper, but when you can actually sleep, and having sleep in you, it's like a natural pick me up and you just feel that much more energized and awake. So I got like about 15, 20 minutes right now. I'm gonna try to take a quick power nap before I go back and start filming. And uh, what's helping me be able to fall asleep right now is all that Mexican food I just ate, food coma. And when when you get food coma, just woo, 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 woo. I just closed and just passed the fuck out. So I'm gonna knock out. And then I gotta film JK News. Julia. See? Oh, that was three. Please three explain to me mm. what the hell is on your shirt. <laughs> Why do you have a teddy bear riding a bicycle? <laughs> because I, I thought it was really cute, and so I got it and I bought it off on an uh, online store. Which store is it? Uh, I don't remember what brand specifically, but I got it off Yes Style, like years ago and it's actually supposed to be like a loose sweater because i remember it used it looked like a loose sweater on the model I'm like oh man this is cute like i want this to be a sweater and then when i bought it i put it on I'm like figured i'm big <laughs> and i was like that's but, but this is a brand, nice though. huh it's a korean brand it's actually asian so that's for like asian sizes yeah, yeah. so oh, i'm like yeah. oh, but you know what i like it though it fits me like a regular long sleeve so is that a, a cut out fabric that they just sewed on? <laughs> I think so. Oh, cool. Look at that. I don't know how it That's is on pretty the cool. inside, though. Oh, looks like oh, this. That's an interesting yeah. shirt. Yeah. Oh. It is pretty cute, though. Yeah. But it reminds me of something like a baby would have on, though. <laughs> but it's like supposed to be something that's 
like a pullover sweater oh, is how like wait, they no, described it, it but I'm just it just fits like a regular long sleeve on mm -hmm. me. But I gotcha. like it though. It's comfy. I see. Hmm. Why are you looking at me with those guilty eyes, David? I have no guilty eyes whatsoever. Yes, you do. They're guilty of something. Uh, yes, I'm constantly thinking about killing your wife. <laughs> oh, please go ahead. You have my blessing. Yes. I'm married yet. Now I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Here, David, I'll bring life back into your eyes. Thank you. Oh, what? You got another one? We only so, have five articles left. <laughs> we do? Oh, thank goodness. So if y'all don't know, every time we get tea from the Bricks of Teas, uh, I finish my super fast and everybody else. So Julia thinks of me and she says, you know what, David needs two. But if she gives me the second one before the 10th article, we have 20. I finish it both of them fast before everybody finishes one. So she rations it out for me. I do. Damn, you drink that much tea? Yeah. Every time, that's why I pee so much during uh, Just Kidding What flavor is that this time? This is that chia seed blueberry mango matzwicker. It's, it's called blueberry madness. Blueberry madness matzwicker. <laughs> You're trying to shit with all those chia seeds? Hell yes, I is. And I had papaya yesterday. It's going to be a disaster tonight. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Oh, Tim, what, whatever happened to Casey's car? Did he oh. get it back? Oh, did he get it back? Yeah. So what uh, happened how long? was... What, did he get... Did he, is it like thousands it was, of dollars? They, it got towed literally right before we got there. I was about to say oh. that. Same day. Oh. It wasn't, actually. It was it? It was not? Because that's what they told them over the phone, that they no. got towed the same day. No, it Who was... Who towed it? It was... Oh, my God. Tell the story from We're the beginning. We're not on JK News. Let me speak. Okay, so... They actually towed his car the night before, but it was within the 24-hour period. Oh. Oh, I seen you. Yeah, so it still was 255 to bail out. It wasn't more. Okay. It would have been another 255. Every then, day? Yeah, every day it's like $200 if they tow your car. It's oh, fucked up. I was up. thinking if, if they did it within the first few days, that's like yeah, nine days or... That's like two Gs right yeah. there. Yeah, I would have been a shit ton. But luckily it was only... Less than 25 Luckily. You're gonna knock on the door and be like, hey, you owe us some money. Did you change the cards? No, but Casey said that, I, I don't know, I think so, yeah. Casey said that the manager, like when he was speaking to him, that they have a no overnight like policy. The property so manager, yeah, so it doesn't even matter. matter. What, he's Wait, no he's cars here are supposed to park overnight? Uh, Technically. Technically. But there's yeah. always cars parked overnight. What yeah. About all those construction. Technically. What about all those construction cars? There's a fuck ton of those. Already. What the hell? That's bullshit, dude. I know. They always do favoritism towards those big ass businesses. So, so should we pull a fucking fast okay. one and call every single company that leaves their car out here? Ooh. And fucking have everybody hate us? If they want to play by those rules. Right? And she originally Especially said it was that. three weeks, right? He let the cars up yeah, for three weeks. Yeah, and then they lied saying it was three weeks. We weren't even gone two weeks. Did she, I know. Did she let them know, the management? Well, that's what Casey was trying to argue, but yeah. then that's when the manager said, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long. It's yeah. you're not even supposed to be. Why did you say three weeks then? Right. <laughs> yeah, if it, if doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter, why did, yeah. Then what'd you say three weeks, you motherfuckers? Right. Are we gonna die? Is there gasoline? Yeah, no. you guys smell that? Did you yeah, smell? I can't smell, smell it there. You enough. smelled hookers, that's why you came out? <laughs> no. You, I'm going back in. <laughs> 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 He's like, I see no hookers. You're in the middle of working in the oven, you came out of nowhere. You must have smelled like freaking fresh underwear or something. <laughs> All right, we gotta start filming again. Wait till my vlogs come out, Michael. Oh, man, I can't, I can't wait to, to see the messages. <laughs> but you know what the most common question I get from people whenever I bump into them in public? What? They say. Does Michael is, really like this? No, it's like, they, they they always say, "Is Bart really big in person?" And I'm like, "Yeah, he's pretty big." He's like, "Yeah." I wonder how big. Like, is he like both of us or? Combined or, or like how big is he? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. That's such an interesting question to ask. <laughs> yeah, like they really want to know like if you're really big and muscular. I Why? Know. I'm not sure. I think they're very impressed. Really? You can just compare your size to him in the videos. Yeah, that's true. Everybody thinks I'm your height and you're my height. <laughs> you know I know. Everyone always sees me and they're like, <laughs> I thought you were a lot taller. Yeah, I've heard that a lot where they get disappointed when they see Bart. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's <laughs> fucked <you>. up. <laughs> well, us, but like, I think it's more so because, you know, in uh, when you're fit, you th they, you think they're bigger than yeah. like life. You yeah. They're like the rock. Yeah, they think I'm fucking five foot one. And I thought you were gonna be short when I first met you, but that's because when you vlogged in the past, I you always had it down like this, yeah. which gave this short guy look. Yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of people are surprised how short I am. Oh, oh, what? Like, oh I thought you were taller, and I'm like, I don't think I'm that short. It's weird how people just openly <laughs> say that. Four, oh, not. disappointed. <laughs> like, yes. fuck you, casual said that shit. Fuck you, you ugly. Get the fuck out of my face. I know, it's like, do you like our show or not? Because I'm not going to go up... I'm not gonna go up to people that I watch and just randomly start listing out dissatisfactions. Yeah. Like, wow, you're a lot so uglier weird. than I thought you were. A lot of people would be like, you're a lot taller than I thought you would be. And I'm like, oh. Who, you? Yeah, me. No, I'm like, thank you. you. Yeah. I know. Yeah. What the hell? It's probably body proportions on camera. When they see oh, us. yeah. When they see us on camera, they think, you know, we should be bigger or whatever. Yeah, yeah. that's so weird. Yeah. Right. Well, sorry guys, I'm not. 612. <laughs> but time to film again. Yeah, I still it's gonna, it's still gonna hurt though, but how about how about Tiff punches you and then Gio punches you and then Julia punches you and you see which one hurt the most? Hey, I like that. I like what? that. Do you know do you know what okay. you're gonna where you gonna punch? <laughs> Joe, not, yeah, aim Why? aim aim No, just hurry up and punch! He gives tips always. Oh yeah, give me a tip. How am I supposed to do it? Just, like just this? Punch or like with this? your legs. No, like your body. Huh? This way or this way? Yeah, don't don't put your uh, thumb like that. It's gonna hurt. This way. But don't put your thumb out. Like don't stretch it this out way. like that. Yeah. What you have to do? Like here. You punch me. You and then punch off. punch here. Use use these. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't oh, yeah. don't use this side. That's gonna hurt you. This. So punch this side. No, oh, no. right here. Yeah, the baby side. Use that. Yeah. Wait here. Yes, but no, no, up, up on the knuckles there. Oh, right here. You're punching with their knuckles. Yeah. Motherfucker. And you want to squeeze really hard. Yeah, squeeze really hard. Because if you don't squeeze hard, then your wrist is going to bend forward and it's going to hurt. So you want to squeeze hard. When you punch, don't, don't bring it. A lot of girls, they bring it up to their, to their ear and go like that. <laughs> Who the fuck punches like You never seen? Girls punch a lot like this. Like they bring it up to their <laughs> ear and then they go like that. Like this. <laughs> yeah. So what's going to happen right now, babe? Since you're in the oh, bathroom, yeah, yeah. I'll fill you in. Yeah. Um, Tiff is gonna hit David. Julia's gonna hit David, and then you're no! gonna hit David. Oh, and, then, and then he's gonna tell us who hits the hardest. Everybody had a chance. Well, she... I'm gonna hit your butt. It's comfier. But I, I need, I need, uh, I need that. I sit on that all the time. Okay. This okay. I literally use. Tight. Drive into it. Drive into it. Drive into it. Drive, drive into it. it. You yeah, mean twist it. your body and push with your legs. Alright, since since you're only gonna, only one person's gonna hit David, I'm gonna give you some tips. Don't aim <laughs> don't aim for that arm, aim for the other oh, arm. Right, right, right. You wanna punch through? through. Yeah, you yeah. punch through him. You wanna stop when you hit it. Okay, you ready? I'm so getting nervous, okay? Like you want to practice in the air. Hold on a second. Here, can you hold this, babe? Practice in the bark. air first. <laughs> so also, not only just uh not what only going on? pivot. You're which, not which, which arm are you gonna hit with? <laughs> So now, not only do you want to, well, actually what's going to hurt more is you have your weight on your right, mm -hmm. you want to transfer that weight to the front leg. Yeah, that's so right. push Boom! So you, you, put, you push that leg, you step forward, uh -huh. step forward, rotate, boom. Last Imagine time. throwing a baseball. Yeah, practice. Imagine throwing get, a baseball. Get, the, oh, no, get the fuck out of here, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. Don't practice, dude. <laughs> okay, ready. I think you have a better view. Imagine throwing a baseball as hard as you can. <laughs> this is fucking funny. You got this, Tiff. All right. Transfer that weight. Take a step forward. Boom. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that felt good. Good. No, we're good. <laughs> that looked like a solid. No, you did it in Japan. Me, me, me. No. Everybody hit me here! You all had your chances! <laughs> that looked like a solid punch though. How did it feel? Yeah. Good? It felt good? It felt like... Invigorated! I think, yeah. <laughs> oh shit! You gotta yell, you have to yell. Yeah. You gotta be like, ah! Yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, you have to Damn! First of all, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why my legs are lipping now. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! But just try that punch, try punching the air and then screaming. It feels so good. Okay. <laughs> Same principles. Take a step forward and boom. Yeah! <laughs> Didn't that feel good? Didn't it feel good? Yeah, but it was funnier <laughs> than feeling good. Uh... That looked like a solid punch, though. It was a good solid punch. Cool, I want to see you replay. Me felt it. <laughs> me felt it in my loins and my nucleus. <laughs> <laughs> Your face, though, was so funny. You were like... She hit me really hard in Japan. Who, Julia? Yeah. Julia. 
She has like I heard the clap. Yeah. I, I saw David move a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd she hit you? What'd I you gave, do? I gave her a free punch and then I just didn't expect her to hit me that hard. She didn't care for me. Come on, dude. She freaking Julia. squatted like 175 without okay, ever trading in her life. Of all three girls who had the biggest heart at the end of the sock. You of all people! Why? Of all people! Why did you have the biggest heart? Because I love him. Yeah. So, I well, what did you do? Yeah, but you same situation! Go, right before somebody hits me, this motherfucker! Listen, you're gonna transfer the power <laughs> to your leg. I was like, what the fuck is with the coaching? <laughs> I want them to do their very best when, they, when they're gonna do it. Yeah. If, if they give you like one of, one of these, it's like, aww. But then if they give you their full force, then you can really... You could understand, oh, okay, this is their strength. Um, why can't you give your full force? You think it's gonna hurt someone? My friends. No, but it's practice. Shoulder. It's for practice. Yeah, it's so I've shoulder. been hit in the shoulder. It still hurts. Of course it hurts, but it later it doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to inflict. Pain and on she my hit friends. me like in the spot where your deltoid separates from your arm. It's like where there's no oh, the, that's the dead arm area. Yeah, there's no meat there. Yeah. So she just goes straight to the bone. Yeah. And it fucking made my arm. <laughs> If, if I had protective gear, um, not on the head though, I would I would let anyone go full force. Hi. Uh, I would feel better because you have protective gear. Yeah, but then you know like so you know the uh, the side one right? Just practicing. If I let someone like that practices kicks like Noah do it, I could feel it through it. It hurts me through it, it hurts my arm, and it goes in, like, if I'm holding it like this, I could feel it here, here, and then under. Damn, it goes into it, yeah. When Noah kicks me, it feels like my bone is getting rattled. Like someone just, like, I could feel like, he, he kicks fucking hard. You know like when we watch those MMA matches and they're like, Oh, he blocked the high kick. I'm like, why does it matter? Your arm's broken now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed it. <laughs> Doesn't matter, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's trained, if it's someone trained, man, they make your body shake. Yeah. And at the same feel, time, you, you feel, feel it transferring through the fucking bag <laughs> onto your whole body. Yeah. But I feel like uh, with when they practice getting kicked, even with the protective gear, I feel like your muscles kind of build to like, um, uh, like withstand that. It's called body hardening. Over yeah. time, your 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 body gets tougher and yeah, tougher so and tougher. That's how you guys feel it because your your muscles aren't used to. All right. But over time, guys. you can take all kinds of impact. So the other ones are good. Uh, yeah, those ones. Oh yeah, just yeah. Worked for some that's reason. True. So. <laughs> It was just that one. Yeah, it was just that one. Um, so Does it hurt? It's a little tender. <laughs> numbers, I'll, I'll just there and, a little tender. Uh, Sometimes when people have little little knuckles, oh, it digs pretty deep. Yeah, it, hers was uh, a very sharp yes. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It, so like the knuckles like hit a certain part. Yeah. It's not like a big blunt blow. Hers was like a fucking baseball bat. Huh? Yours is like sharp, packed little knuckles. See, that's why I gave it my all because I knew it couldn't hurt you. Yours is. It uh, did. I just told you it hurt. <laughs> No, hers was more like a blood force. Yours was very sharp because of your knuckles. Oh. So yours is a Sorry, bitch. It was really funny because I've never seen 